Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News with a Love is Blind story that does have a Bachelor crossover. It is wild tea. Let me tell you something. If Love is Blind alumni are always going to be this sloppy, we should just be a full-on Love is Blind channel. But I'm going to share this story with you right now. Love is Blind star caught cheating by his then-girlfriend, Shelby. She just posted on Instagram last night with all the receipts. I'm going to get into that. Then we have a former Bachelorette star taking one side, and it's it's kind of got it's kind of gotten uh, it's it's spilled into the streets. So we're going to cover all this right now. And um, if you aren't familiar with Love Is Blind, it's still a very interesting story. Shelby Webb is or was dating Izzy. And here they were just earlier this year on a podcast called Happily Ever Banter. Clearly, they are no longer happy, as will be seen by the Instagram story, or excuse me, Instagram post made by Shelby right here. And by the way, if you enjoy any of this content, I have a podcast I do twice a day, morning and afternoon. It's called The Rush Hour. You got your morning rush hour and your afternoon rush hour. Get you to work, get you home, all pop culture, entertainment news, Olympic updates, I got it all. So it's all over there. Go check that out anywhere you listen to podcasts. Link in the description below. Here, let's go to it. So Izzy's dating this lady and she posts this. POV, the man you love who you thought you were going to marry, period, who took you engagement ring shopping a week ago, dot, dot, gets caught cheating on you with another woman who sent you the naked photos to confirm. Oh boy. Well, I have not verified the photos, I'm imagining they're real, and I know she doesn't want to commit any revenge issues and isn't going to share them here, uh, rightfully. Uh, so let's just assume this uh, lady is not lying. I know some people say, oh, where's the evidence? Let's assume she's not lying. So here are the text messages that Shelby sent to Izzy. I'm going to give you one last chance to tell me if anything happened. I can't forgive you if you don't own up to your mistakes. If you tell the truth right now, we can find a way to work it out. This is your last chance to tell me. Final offer. He says, I am owning up to it all. That's why I'm answering anything you want me to. Did you or did you not do anything with a girl? His response, no. Now, he might be thinking, well, we didn't have penetrative you-know-what, so that counts as a no. But obviously, in the world of cheating, while there are different levels, if his intent is to go bang somebody, then what's the difference? You know what I mean? Like, what's the difference? So here's the text from the other woman with photo proof not shown. So this text message was sent to Shelby in one way or another when this lady found out girl code that the guy she was going to have an innocent hookup with uh, was actually seriously dating someone else. Pretty chill. We played beer pong and drank a little. Then he asked me if I wanted to go upstairs to hook up. I didn't know he was seeing anyone and I agreed. We were right in the middle of it when someone came upstairs and interrupted us. So we went downstairs to hang out in the pool with the rest of the people that were there. No one had any swimsuits. So we all went skinny dipping. As the night progressed, he asked me again if I wanted to hook up since we were interrupted the first time. We tried to hook up a second time in one of the bathrooms, but the door didn't lock. So we kept getting interrupted and eventually gave up. Well, that seems too bad. You couldn't get the door to lock. Come on. So anyway, I don't know how far along they were in the throes of it. She says we were right in the middle of it. Look, I'm not going to get into, well, was the bra already undone? Was the, you know, uh, it sounds like, I mean, this is about as bad as it's going to get. Now, is there a scenario where he could have fessed up to it and she would have been okay with it? I don't think so. This is probably a trap. If you tell me the truth, we can find a way to work this out. That's like when a cop says, just tell me where the drugs are. Well, you know, it's like, first of all, so I respect his decision to deny because if he did tell her the truth, she probably would have dumped his ass anyway. But at the same time, she clearly was holding on to the evidence and wanted him to fess up to it before she shared it. Great work by her. I'm on Team Shelby here, assuming this all lines up. You know, innocent till proven guilty, uh, but doesn't look too good for our boy Izzy over here. So then her final post was this. Ladies, always trust your instinct. Uh... Uh, pieces of, sh you know what, men will always slip up eventually. Remember your worth, even though it's the hardest in these moments. Just be patient. Karma is a bee. And I love that she posted this on top of a photo of him. She had to go into Canva. Find me a photo of my ex that's going to make him look like a giant, you know what. Anyway, she says they always get caught. Trust your instincts. And by the way, I do know when you click on this, there are comments that pop up. But for whatever reason, it's not working for me right now. Here's where it gets interesting. Izzy 
I guess, has beef with James McCoy Taylor, uh, posted this James McCoy Taylor charge with, uh, you know, this assault of a 19-year-old. So this is a story we've covered, I think, at least twice in the last two days, uh, the mugshot of James McCoy Taylor. Why does this matter? Well, so Izzy, I guess, called James McCoy Taylor out for his wrongdoings, and then James McCoy Taylor has responded to Izzy. Now, let's be very clear. In the battle of who's a bigger you-know-what, what James McCoy Taylor has allegedly done with regards to um, stopping someone from leaving, he's 38, whatever, he brought home a 19-year-old. He wanted to go to the hot tub. He always wants to go to the hot tub. You think Izzy and James McCoy Taylor, would they would be friends, you know? They, they, uh, they can go hang out in the pool together. Either way, this is still way worse than cheating. Cheating is obviously terrible. And it should be a deal breaker in relationships when a relationship should be built on the premise of trust and all that jazz. Sure. But this is illegal. You know what I mean? Assuming this is going to go to court and all of that. We'll continue to follow that on the podcast of our shower with Dave Neal. So here's what James McCoy Taylor had to say in response to Shelby. My friend Shelby got cheated on and now homeboy's telling her he's going to go live about this. Probably bash her. Just had to chime in for her sake and say, I saw this guy do this same kind of thing firsthand and Shelby ain't lying. That's it. Back to my business. And if you're in Houston, I'd be kind to them both because hate doesn't help anyone. But I can't sit back and not vouch for her story and have people call her a liar. Now, I don't know of anyone calling her a liar. Maybe Izzy's got some fans who, you know, I don't know, are blinded uh, by his celebrity. I have no idea. Uh, the one thing I can probably agree with James McCoy Taylor, which I never thought I would agree with him on much, is there's no need to send any of these people hate. You know what I mean? There might be more to the story. Now, what could be more to the story? I don't know. I, I don't know why a random person not seeking clout or whatever would go to Shelby and expose Izzy if it's not 100% true. I just don't know why that would happen. Um, the comment section on this post were, was absolutely wild. Uh, basically just saying, like, you know, obviously what Izzy did was bad, but James McCoy Taylor, if this is all true, is way worse. Uh, interesting stuff. Pretty dramatic. I don't think we have a response from Izzy yet. So I don't know where he said he was going to expose all of this. Uh, we don't have an update here. He actually hasn't posted anything in a while, unless I'm missing something. So maybe my Love is Blind fans could help me out and let me know if there's something I'm missing here. Now, we have Izzy initially speaking about his current relationship, saying, or the relationship that just ended. I sh I'm assuming it ended. I know my girlfriend's very secure with herself. She knows that Stacy and I are not going to be anything anymore. If anything, I'm so grateful for my girlfriend. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be getting through this stuff. So he claims that his girlfriend, I'm assuming this was the Shelby character, helped him get through all of the, you know, troubles that he had from Love is Blind. If you remember, you know, I, I don't know. You know, it, it, this is what's interesting. They, they find all these messy characters. I, I watched this season. I don't know if you guys did. And then you... Sometimes there's a clear villain and sometimes there's not. Uh, but I do think most of the time people are trying their best. Um, but either way, he did talk about his uh, fl his relationship. Uh, for Izzy, fans wanted him to find a honey after failing to, to go the distance with fellow Love is Blind stars uh, Micah Lucier Luch Luch uh, and Jessica Vestal. In a June 2024 post, he sent fans into a frenzy when he flaunted his honey a blonde-haired woman wearing a black monochrome outfit. Found my honey, Izzy simply wrote in his caption. Several fans inquired about the woman in the Netflix studs comments. Many wondered how they met and fully supported the relationship so long as he was happy. Those who already followed Izzy's story on Love is Blind and online had seen and heard of his girlfriend before. In October 2023, he hard-launched his girlfriend, surgical assistant Shelby Webb, on his Instagram account. Izzy captured the post of him and Shelby. It all started with a cooking class. So... As far as the timeline of when Izzy started dating Shelby and when these reality shows ended, I don't have all that information. I guess that stuff doesn't really matter. What really matters here is that, look, seems like he was caught cheating, and I can understand his first response would be to want to call out her if she's exposing him, but, I mean, hey, what is his defense going to be? Uh, they were in an open relationship. Like, I don't know where he's going to go from here. My best guess without knowing too much about the situation would be for him to just swallow his pride, take the loss, 
even post something and say, hey, Shelby is a great person. I was wedding ring shopping or engagement ring shopping with her. I thought she was going to be the future. I totally blew it. I've got a problem. I drink too much and make impulsive decisions. Whatever the case may be. Own it. Move on. That's the only way to go about this. Unless, for whatever crazy reason, Izzy's in the right and this ex Shelby was, you know, trying to sink him and whatever. I don't think that's the case. Um, let me know what you guys think. And if you want more content, link in the comment section below. I'm going to have all of your updates um, uh, on the, the Rush Hour podcast. I've got the terrorist uh, plot from uh, Taylor Swift's uh, shows in Vienna. We'll have that story. I've got some Olympic stories going on and some more celebrity tea. We'll have that for you next on the Rush Hour podcast.